Hey everyone, this is Jamie. Um, I'll be performing a few videos due to personal reasons. Yeah. Anyway, so today's video, I really wanted to talk about dysphoria and specifically how we give a voice to it. And it's not just you and the mirror, for instance. Sometimes uh, when we have a really bad day and like we feel very dysphoric about something let's pick for something very general like chest dysphoria so you go online and you try to read tips on how to fight your chest dysphoria you find out that you can wear a binder you buy a binder so these things are very kind of not normalized but it's the usual and uh, it's nearly the norm but if you have chest dysphoria and you decide not to bind, or if you don't have chest dysphoria and you decide uh, not to bind as well, it's also valid. So in this discussion, I'd like to say that, again, this is like about trans men and uh, trans masculine people, but I'm binary, I'm a binary trans guy who enjoys makeup and etc. and glitter up my ass, but that's not the point. Uh, the point is that I'll be speaking about this certain group of trans people. So what I'd like to say is that the more I go, for instance, on Reddit or on Twitter or online or Instagram, is that I see that people stop really treating their dysphorias. I'm not saying that uh, unless you're dysphoric, you, you're you not valid. I'm just saying that... Okay, let's just call things by their names. Okay, so you have, for instance, hip dysphoria, right? Which I've been reading a lot. I come from a luckier place, I guess, because uh, I'm on T. Or like some people, I don't know, or my hips ones. I just worry about my stomach because I'm currently a bit on the overweight side. But that's not the point. So I read all these posts and at the end of the day, I start thinking, wait, what if I have hip dysphoria? And then I have to go into the mirror, lift up my shirt and look at my hips. If I read too much about it, I will go look into the mirror and ask like my partner Lucas, hey, do I have white hips? And in the beginning of this whole hip dysphoria saga, um, people really f try to fight it, like saying there are guys with white hips. There are like T changes later. And I feel like right now there's this really negative space where people just keep talking about um uh, about hip dysphoria in this case and it, then it spreads on so people get dysphoria i'm not saying you shouldn't talk about your dysphoria i'm just saying that if you have a dysphoria you need to find what works for you and preferably share it because right now it's just like every post is nearly like hip dysphoria, hip dysphoria, hip dysphoria, hip dysphoria, hip dysphoria. So it just so it's not just me ranting about hip dysphoria, I'm gonna address it. Okay, hip dysphoria, what can you do? Wear a baggy shirt, wear by your jeans. That's what I did in my day. There's hoodies. And you have to understand that just because your hips are wide doesn't mean that a cis guy doesn't have wide hips. Is it a combination of other things which make you not pass? Maybe. But you're focusing on the hips because right now it's trendy to hate on hips. And uh, sometimes we don't want to admit to ourselves that, like I didn't admit to myself that at the end of the day, I wasn't passing because my voice was too girly and um, I just wasn't on tape. I needed T to start passing more than I normally would. 
And also, when I first understood that I was trans, I was in a very accepting country. So, um, then when I moved to Portugal, uh, I had to, like, amp up my presentation, uh, my mannerisms, have more confidence. By the end of the day, if you have the confidence, like, you go out, you're like, I'm a guy, that's it, that is gonna be like 50% of your passing rate. And don't forget that cis guys also get misgendered. Not everyone looks like Clark Gable, for fuck's sake. And because of the dysphoria, I see random bullshit like... Has anyone talked about the how abnormally ridiculous the idea of the transatic trans... Fuck, what's their name? Anyway, the bionic rod. The bionic prosthetic. Jesus Christ. They hop from one concept to another concept and they want to charge under a thousand dollars. Look, I have terrible bottom dysphoria. I don't talk about it enough because I just don't want to talk about it that much. I can't make a video about it. But Jesus Christ, when you are scamming people, and specifically, the trans community sometimes can be a herd of sheep. I'm sorry. But it's like made for trans people by trans people. Just because it's made by trans people and has trans in the name doesn't mean that it's good for you. I am very angry. I've been following this project for a really long while to see what disasters follows it. And all I see is praise for it. So this is just like the hip dysphoria. See, these are two dysphorias which we need to address. Hip. I just said what the solutions are. Bottom. You have to choose. You want surgery or not. It's very cutthroat here. So you decide, if you want to go surgery, you have to do waiting times, you have to just wait it through, but you can't stigmatize yourself for it, you can't put yourself down for it. It's a very, very tough process. Then, if you decide not to go with it, there are prosthetics which will help you, but right now the market is oversaturated and things do not work as perfectly as they used to and neither did they work as perfectly back then but you could still pack some people could still use the SCP function and i know guys who have now there's a bunch of scandals like msl freedom had a bunch of scandals um all these brands coming up like gender cat with uh, god knows how many hundreds of dollars to pay for they are literally sucking out our trans money so what i wanted to say is please do not fall for the bionic crap because sorry they said that you had to put like metal things inside your body no surgeon's gonna do that for you and now it's like barely going erect. There's a fluid which is not explainable. It's not like a fallow plasty. Okay? Yes, you have to squeeze your balls to get an erection. Yes, but it's different. Some things are medically approved, some are more unapproved. Sorry, I am a very angry person in general. So this may have come across a bit angry. I just want to say that some solutions are not necessary. You should really have your head on your shoulders. You should, just like hip for instance, you can't buy it into the hype. If you feel like it's being toxic, get off the internet, get off Reddit, get off Twitter. And uh, yeah, FCM bans me, so I don't give a fuck. And with that, I'd like to wish you a good rest of the day. 
don't be as angry as I am. And the fucking bionic dick can suck my non-existent dick right now. <laughs>